Saki Ali has been away for the last five years. Now he's back with his latest album Exui and he's performing it right here on Shift Focus. So now sit back and enjoy some royal pampering. <laughs> A palatial estate, large audience, a delicious spread of food. Sounds like a party, right? Well, almost. Add a stage, a singer, and voila. You have the recipe for a fundraising concert. The Royal Arcot Welfare Trust has been cooking up this event for the past six weeks. For a while, it looked like their hard work might go to waste due to the unpredictable weather. As the crowd patiently waited for the clouds to clear, Everyone hoped Lucky Ali would be true to his name and the show would go on. Concerts are always fun and it's more fun when you get here early and these bunch of Lucky Ali fans have gotten here so early they're actually watching the rehearsals happening. So what is your favourite Lucky Ali song? It's Gori Teri Aankhe. I don't remember the album name but it's Gori Teri Aankhe. And coming over here, how did you hear about the Lucky Ali concert? Uh, we heard he was coming to town because, and he's pretty famous because of his movie, the soul movie and his music in it. So we decided to come and see what it's all about. Okay, this is just one stall in the front. There's so many more stalls at the back and I'm going to take you right there and ask a couple of people over there what they have to say about the concert too. Okay, more fans we've got to talk to, so I've got myself a comfortable seat. Shweta, what's your favourite Lucky Ali song? I love Gori Teri Aankhe. That's by Lucky Ali along with uh, Kavita Kushnamurti. Can you give us a line? Because you look like a person who sings. So can you give us a line from the song? Gori Teri Aankhe Kahe Ki Tu Rat Bhar Soi Nahi What's up, man? Finally, a two-hour wait and a drizzle later, the rapper boys from Lowriders called on the audience to unwrap their rigid bodies and move to the groove. Their infectious rhythm left everyone wanting more. How does it feel performing in Chennai for the very first time? Well, honestly, we never had any expectations. We just wanted to come here and do a good job and uh, impress people. Basically, we are new, our sound is new, and opening for Lucky Ali ain't a joke. So, boom, uh, it clicked. Looks like all the Lucky Ali fans there liked what we do. So we're going to come back with better music and uh, better performance. I mean, better presentation soon. We're working on it. And uh, I'm glad that our first uh, gig in Chennai is for a cause. Everything goes to the charity. And we are really proud to be associated with this whole venture, you know. Respect. <laughs> And when Ali hit the stage, the evening got better. With an exceptional mix of musicians, Lucky Shwar didn't disappoint. From Suno to Osanam, and his latest offering from his album Exui, the electrifying performance satiated every fan's hungry appetite for music. And if you still felt hungry, the Royal Arcot Cuisine Shwar filled you up with the signature Nababi Biryani. This fundraising concert is going international, so watch out for it and let your friends know too. Now, while I was enjoying a romantic evening in the presence of the royals, Elise, on the other hand, was out painting the town red, or more like black and gold. Here she is at the Galata's Gold Bash at the Karma Bar and Lounge. Deepthi girl, I wish you were here because the Galata Gold Party is the place to be. Tonight, the South Indian Movie Magazine celebrates its 10th anniversary and with an evening of dining, dancing and celebrity sightings, the affair should shape up to be a golden one indeed. Galata celebrated its golden birthday at Chennai's newest hotspot, the Karma Bar and Lounge at the Watch Arena Boutique Hotel. 
Among those spotted at the Glitzy Lounge were Radhika Sadik Kumar, Chini and J.C. Jain, Arun, costume designer Priya Manikandan, and Storm Fashion Company CEO Gaurav Sharma. What does the 10th anniversary of Galata mean to you? Oh, it's, um, it's a great feeling because uh, we've been, uh, it's a dream come true. It's been, uh, we've been waiting for this uh, to happen and I think it's uh, hard work from everyone and a lot of support from all our fans. So I'm standing with one of the most incredible and most glamorous power couples I've ever met, Girish and Shakti. So tell me, what does it mean to be celebrating the 10th anniversary of Galata tonight? It's been awesome. I mean, 10 years is a long time, but it suddenly it went like a flash. So we are looking forward to many more years and it's fun. So we're all set to party. It's exactly like our marriage, which is also 10 years old. So there's amazing moments, there's a lot of <laughs> moments, and it's, it's been really, really good. This is actually his baby with his partner, Venkatesha, so I've just walked into the fifth year, and it's been a roller coaster since 2005. <laughs> Girish and Shakti's warmth and hospitality gave the party a golden glow as each guest was greeted like an old friend. Galata is very special to me and my husband because we go a long way, a long, long way back with Shakti and Girish and uh, we've actually grown with them and we're very happy and we're very proud of them and we've come here to cheer them up. And tell me, what are you expecting from tonight's Galata Gold Party? Uh, the usual, which is going to be a lot of fun and excitement when Galata parties are. And uh, they're, I, I guess, uh, one of the best hosts you have in Chennai as far as the party circuit is concerned. I think Galacha is one of the most happening magazines and uh, I think it's really awesome. The magazine itself is one of the best we've seen. So all of us feel great to be a part of this annual, 10th anniversary function. <laughs> this is 10th year Galata. I hope it will touch 100,000 lakhs. Galata, Galata, always Galata. Good luck. I mean, Galata has been really supportive of the industry so far, so uh, I think it's a pleasure for us to be here and be in support of them as well. Uh, it looks like a really happening party, so looking forward to it. With everyone else having so much fun, I just had to jump in. I'm here with Ashvarias, who is a model, and she is going to teach me how to pose like a model, if that can be taught. Absolutely. It's one of the most easiest things in fact. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to teach you the peace stance, okay. which is quite simple. Okay. So the leg goes this way and this way. So it's okay. a T. Okay. So that's one of our staple poses. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. And then, and then. That's what we do at the end of the round. Okay. All right. So here's our model shot. As someone from the industry, how do you feel to celebrate Galata's gold anniversary with them tonight? Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, being with Galata at any point of time is like being with family. And, uh, and it's strange, I didn't even recognize or realize that it's been 10 years down the line. Uh, we recently had a get together for three years of the magazine launch and it's 10 years for the website launch now. So the kid is growing pretty fast and uh, hale and healthy. I wish them loads of luck and loads of prosperity ahead of it. Now, I have a question for you yeah. because this has been a girlhood dream of mine. I've always wanted to dance with an actor. So, would you dance with me? Well, after learning how to model and finally fulfilling my childhood dream of dancing with an actor, the night has been nothing if not a golden one. It's time to hand the show back over to Deepti, and I'll see you guys a little later. With everyone else having so much fun, I just had to be a part of it. I learned to model, and I fulfilled my girlhood dream of dancing with an actor. Hmm, lucky girl, Elise, you got your dream come true. Well, that's a wrap on today's show. You can now shift focus to whatever it is you were busy doing. But do remember to keep your lovely feedback coming in on feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. And until next week, and on behalf of Elise and our whole team here, it's goodbye and be good.